the NCAA first round is perhaps the most important track and field meet of the year for two reasons. One is because if your team has any real plans of winning a national championship, you're going to have to qualify a whole bunch of athletes on that weekend. And the other is because if you are one of the fastest women in all of college, you can technically mess up on any other meet on the calendar, and it really doesn't matter. But if you can't get it done during the first round meet, it won't matter anymore because your season will be officially over. So when Parker Valby broke the outdoor 10K collegiate record earlier this season, it was a very big deal, but she still had to go back out there and prove that she was still way better than everybody else. For the record, I had full confidence that she would. And it's also the reason why Jaysha Sears won't be at the NCAA championship meet in the 100 meter dash. Even though she already ran 10.77 seconds earlier this season because she wasn't able to run at the first round meet. But hopefully she can get back on the track before the Olympic trials. The truth is that by this point during the outdoor season, we already know who the fastest women in all of college actually are. They just have to go out there and run fast during the one race that they actually need to run. Remember, there are over 350 Division I teams, but only 24 women in any single event get to line up at the NCAAs. And unfortunately, most fans are really only paying attention during the NCAA final. And you can't really blame them because that's about all they really show on cable anyway. So in case you weren't paying attention, here is what really went down when all the fastest women in college competed for their track and field lives because you only get one shot to make it to the NCAAs. And that shot is called the first round meet. Out of the East region, Mackenzie Long proved that she is arguably the best women sprinter throughout the entire NCAA. She won the 100 and the 200 at that meet. That is a very big deal because she didn't even run the 100 at the SEC championships, but still came back to run 10.92 seconds when legal. Had she just run at the Prefontaine during the same weekend, she would have only lost to Sha'Carri Richardson. In the 200, she beat Jamethia Ford, who was the indoor champion in the 200, again, because Mackenzie Long is still the fastest woman in the world this year. If she can keep running like this, she can honestly steal a spot on Team USA for the Olympics, because the only ticket that we can basically book in advance for Paris has to be Sha'Carri Richardson in the 100. After that, that event's looking wide open to me. But if you're new here, I have to say thank you for even making it this far into the video. And I'm Coach Rob, the founder of SCARecruiting.com, where I rank the best high school track and field recruits in the entire nation. And if anything that I say actually connects with you, it is always greatly appreciated if you would please like and subscribe. But if I don't, just let me know in the comments section because I try to read them all. And Jaden made out of Oregon in the West region, dominated the short sprints almost as badly as Mackenzie Long did in the East. She went 10.83 seconds slightly when desisted. And when you consider that Jason Sears won't be at the NCAAs, they have got to be the favorites in that event. And as far as the rest of the pros go, they're going to have to go a whole lot faster. Once again, if your name is not Kevin Richardson, if you want to keep them off the Olympic team. And in the 400 meter dash out of the West region, Arkansas went one, two, three, and four in that event, with times that were all faster than anything we saw out of the East. That is so ridiculous that I had to check the results multiple times just to make sure that it actually happened. So it should also come as no surprise that they broke the 4x4 collegiate record during the regional meet. Michaela Rose of LSU dominated the 800 out of the East region, as expected. But Juliet Whitaker and Roisin Willis from Stanford also dominated that event at the West Regional Meet. And that means when they face off at the NCAAs, we will be looking at the last three NCAA champions in that event going at it. But Harvard actually qualified two more women in that event out of the East Region because they really are that good out of the Ivy League, which is also why Maya Ramson will be joining them at the top seed in the 1500, which is her chance to repeat again as national champion in that event. And of course, Parker Valby took care of business in the 5K and the 10K. But in the 5K, she is not the top seed out of the East region. But I believe the only reason for that is because she doesn't need to be. But I have to give a special shout out for the ladies 4 by one for Howard, UPenn, and Charlotte. They only have two individual qualifiers in any sprinting event for the NCAAs between them. But all of them are taking their relays to the meet. For the record, it's Charlotte's Joy Asia Smith in the 100 and the 200. 
and we had the Bella Whitaker in the 400 for UPenn. But the biggest shocker of the weekend had to be Maribel Caicedo of Washington State in the 100 hurdles because she dethroned Grace Stark as the collegiate leader in that event. She didn't just do it in the finals, she also did it in the prelims. And that means she might now be the favorite to win the entire event. Track and field is a sport that most people don't really understand unless they actually did it. It is not about running fast or even jumping far or throwing something far. It's about doing all of those things in the one moment when you actually need to pull it off. In Division I track and field, the first round meet is that moment. And now all of these women will have a chance to compete for a national title. But remember, we technically already know who the fastest women in college actually are. But they still have to go out there and prove it when the lights are on and it's time to perform. SCA track and field gear is here. Fast is a lifestyle and what you wear should reflect that. Order yours at scarecruiting.com slash shop or use the link in the description below. It's a huge support to me and this channel so I can continue to make you more content like this. And remember, it is always greatly appreciated if you would please like and subscribe.